was watching a YouTube video where this popular YouTuber was talking about how black men should not marry a woman who has student loan debt. What? Now, I'm someone who's a first-generation college student. I didn't really get much help from my family when it came to, you know, filling out a app college application and FAFSA, you know, knowing about loans. All of these things I had to educate myself on. What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload new content and before we get into it, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll that clip. I was watching a YouTube video where this popular YouTuber was talking about how black men should not marry a woman who has student loan debt. Now, I'm someone who's a first-generation college student. I didn't really get much help from my family when it came to, you know, filling out a app college application, FAFSA, you know, knowing about loans, all of these things I had to educate myself on. This is majority of the black community. You put yourself in certain situations that you have no idea, no clue about because this is your first time dealing with this. So you're really just learning as you go through the process. So once again, because this aggravated me, but once again, what I'm preaching is black men go through the same thing. You know, you, you don't know nothing about a FAFSA. You don't know nothing about student loans. You just figuring it out as you go. So you're saying that somebody isn't worthy of something because they have student loans when you literally come from the same background that somebody else come from i just i the math don't be math and make it make sense you saying that this person is not worthy and y'all both got student loans because y'all both was laying astray because y'all both came from families who didn't know shit about college these people need to get off the internet i'm sorry so this is what I have to say, take accountability. It is your job to pay off your student loans. It is not a man's responsibility. And within this video, we're going to explore some of the ways that you can pay off your student loans all by yourself. Sit back, relax, enjoy, grab some snacks, some popcorn, because we're going in on modern women yet again. You see, modern women are a creature of habit. They don't take accountability. They blame everybody else for their mistakes. And then on top of that, they hate men. They do not like men that stand up against them. So this modern woman expects a man to pay off her student loans that she got when she went to school. And more than likely, this woman is working at a job that doesn't allow her to pay for her student loans. That's generally what happens when women go to college. They may go to college for a low paying career, such as humanitarian, social work, or they may not go to college at all. They may go to college and drop out, who knows? But either way, you are not making enough money after college to take care of your student loans. So let's use this woman as an example. Let's say she went to school for social work, which a lot of black women do. For some reason, black women love social work. So let's look at the average salary of a social worker. So social worker salary in the United States, the average base salary is $64,159 per year. The low end, you can make $41,430, and the highest is 
$358,358. This is as of December 13th, 2023. Now, if you take on student loan debt in order to get that job that gives you $29 an hour, you're going to have to pay that back. Now, there's different ways that you can pay your loans back. One, go to a company that pays your student loans off or pays a significant amount of student loan debt for years of service. I do know that in education, if you go to school to be a teacher, depending on the school district, they will actually pay for your student loans based on your years of service. So if you go to school to be an educator and you work at a school district, let's say three to five years, they will pay off your student loans or pay a significant amount. I do know in tech, you don't need a degree to make a lot of money in tech. And I believe the trick of the trade is choosing a career field that you like that is going to make you the amount of money that you need to live and pay off these loans. But what black women like to do is they like to go to school based on what they feel like doing. They feel that they would be a good humanitarian. They feel social work. They feel registered nurse. They feel a lot of different career fields. And a lot of the jobs that they have, like look at any given city. I'm going to use Maryland and Philadelphia and D.C. as an example, because I'm familiar with all three. Shout out to the DMV, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. If you're from the DMV, leave a comment. Let me know you're out there. But if you go to D.C. and you go to Maryland and you go to Virginia, you will see a lot of black people, a lot of black women, in low-level customer service jobs. A lot. You come to Philly, same thing. You go to Washington, D.C., same thing. The saving grace of D.C. is that D.C. is where the federal government is. So there's a lot of government jobs in D.C. that a lot of black women work at. But in order to get a job in the government, you have to get a security clearance, either a secret, top secret, top secret with a poly, and it all depends on where you want to work. There was a group on Facebook that I was a part of for software engineering and development because I am in tech. That is where I love to be. I'm a techie at heart. And a lot of black women left the group because you have to understand, I am convinced that a lot of black women don't want to be lifelong learners. They just want to get a job and that's it. But if you go to any field that is going to pay you a lot of money and you go to law, medicine, tech, science, engineering, mathematics, all of those fields pay a lot of money, but they require you to be a lifelong learner. And what do black women not want to do? They don't want to learn. They just want everything handed to them on a silver platter. Give me my degree. Give me my high paying job. Give me my money. Get out of my face. That is the black woman. We have a lot of women that are just going to school to go to school. They're not really going to school for anything of importance. They're just going to school, getting a degree, and hoping the stores align so they'll be able to 
pay off their student loans. And I'm going to leave you with this, black women. You have to do better. Don't go to school if you don't have to. Let's be realistic. If you get in the tank, if you get in the certain fields, you may not need to go to school. Now, I'm not saying don't go to school, but what I'm saying is weigh the pros and cons. School may not be necessary for your career field. Also, expand your horizons. STEM is a great field to be in, but you don't necessarily have to have a degree in order to move up. You just need certifications. You don't just have to be a social worker or a customer service engineer or a secretary or any of those stereotypical black women jobs that most black women get after college. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tick the like notification bell that will let you know every time I upload new content. And until the next video. Peace.